It can. Uh, I, I did it a number of years ago uh, in uh, reducing workman's comp. And it was, but the only way it works if you have items that you can measure that are very quantifiable. And there's no question between the employer or the manager that's doing the evaluating and the employee who's uh, possibly going to get compensated for meeting certain performance standards. Workman's comp was very easy. Uh, you take a look at what you lost, and if you reduce the loss, there's specific savings that you have, and the employee gets to reap in that savings. Uh, but that's the only way it works in the public sector. It has to be able to be measured, and there has to be no question in anybody's mind what the measurement is. Well, so basically public sectors really don't do it because it takes a lot of work on their part to make sure these measures are, be, are happening, right? That is, that is exactly correct. In the public sector, because we're so much service oriented, uh, it's very hard to, to measure and pay someone, for example, a receptionist. How do you measure that? that it's very difficult to measure because you're talking about the level of service and the customer service that they're delivering. Uh, if you're talking about picking up garbage as a truck, and you've got to pick up 1,200 uh, homes every day uh, with no accidents and, and whatever else that you're going to put on there, then those can be measured. And, it, and in an organization on the public side, uh, it's very hard to do that because then you have the clerk who's saying, why don't I have a chance to get a 25% bonus uh, just because I'm not driving a truck, but the guy driving a truck gets to get it. And because everyone knows what everybody makes in the public sector, uh, it makes it very difficult and it causes a morale problem at times. When you did it, what city did you do it? I did it in Harlingen and we did it for workman's comp for everybody. So the larger the workman's comp fee that you paid, the greater amount of return you could get. But you could also tie it back to, for example, the police department. Uh, at the time we were able to do it because we didn't have civil service at the time. But you could do it because even the secretaries were involved in trying to tell the police officers, you know, drive carefully, be careful because from their standpoint, if they did well, then they had a chance to benefit from, from their savings. And did you see a, a, a change? There was a, there was a drastic change. We had about a 44% drop in, 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 uh, in injuries that year. Why does it happen much easier in, in the private sector? Is it because things can be measured? That's exactly right. If you're in manufacturing, you see it in manufacturing a lot. You see it in sales a lot. You can measure. If you're making phones, and you got to make 10,000 phones a day uh, with, with a reject of less than one-tenth of one percent, then you can, you can measure that. Are you producing that many phones with rejects of one-tenth of one percent? And if you can do that, then uh, you've met certain standards. And then you take a look at also from the standpoint of, of return uh, or profit that the company made. So if there's a, a benchmark that's established for, for that company to make two million dollars a year net profit every quarter and they're able to do that then the employees may get 25 percent of that that are split based on on their position that they hold and what they do but it's established at the front end so everybody knows what it is it's very measurable and there's no question about well I'm, I'm giving it to my friend and because he's my friend and we go fishing together and I'm going to give him a little bit more once you start doing that then you have problems and you have really in the area of morale